Hello everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney. Yep, just that. <laughs> I'm used to Phoenix Ray uh, games having like an extended title, but this is the first one, so we don't have to worry about that. Also, I hope the music is fixed in this one. I don't know why the last episode that we did, the music was like super low. I just turned up a tad bit. Well, that's good. I also love how Gumshoe's just uh, He's just chuckling. He, he's remembering a funny joke that he heard back in high school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess we're... We got a... Oh, yeah, we're supposed to talk to Edgeworth again, right? I think so. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Is he gonna... Oh. He ain't talking... He ain't talking to us. Oh. What is it? Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. What There's no waterfalls around you. <laughs> I do. I don't have a beach. Oh. Could you show me the autopsy report once more? Okay. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Brain blast. Think, <laughs> think, brain. Hey, I, I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office uh, meal work time. I met him once when I went there to hang out with sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right! That fat guy! <laughs> oh my, you can't call him that. <laughs> Sorry, that gay guy! <laughs> How is him and Mr. Red White? <laughs> they were- and they were roommates. <laughs> that was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should talk to him, for old time's sake. Well, what should we do? Hmm, didn't I just fucking tell you? <laughs> no. The police have pretty much made up their minds that Mr. Edgeworth did it. And Mr. Edgeworth won't tell us anything. Yeah. I guess we could go look for clues down by the lake. Right. Well, Penny for your thoughts? Oh, uh, no, you need a nickel. <laughs> thoughts, thoughts. <laughs> yeah, why won't Mr. Edgeworth tell us anything? And, and... And why did he refuse to ask for our help? What an asshole. <laughs> Oh, so I like how you said, Penny, for your thoughts, and then... Wait, you know, I think it's developing a nice luster. I'll look at your badge later, Nick. We got work to do. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Who was that with the camera? Lot of something? A lot of heart rat. Let's go talk to her about that photograph. I guess that we're supposed to do, but we gotta pay Grossberg a bit. Nick! This person was lawyer at Grossberg's office. Let's go talk to him. Mr. Grossberg, I mean, not the dead guy. <laughs> Also, real quick, don't isn't it when you become a lawyer you get fingerprinted? I think so. But you're uh, <clears throat> you want to talk to Grossberg or do the photo thing? I gotta remember how to do Grossberg's voice again. <laughs> it's been a while since I was last here. Mr. Grossberg's out as usual. Hey Nick, look at that wall. That painting is still missing. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg in red white. She kept track of all of White's ex extortion and blackmail rackets. Damn, you know what? That must be crazy that she she knew the whole time that the like her boss and everything was was the one that got her mother like ex like exiled from the village. Yeah. Yeah. Why is the wall there a different color? You see, Maya, when people smoke inside <laughs> with a painting on the wall, that's what it does to the wall color. Of course. It makes sense. Yeah. That's what happened to my grandmother's house. She was a chain smoker that smoked inside, so when they were moving, you can see, like, the original color of the, like... Chain smokers? Uh, uh, uh. uh that's big time rush. Uh, uh. <laughs> huh, what happened to it? That smoke. Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. <laughs> Love blooms eternal, Nick. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, Nick, do you not remember when we made that joke? We're like, I knew it. You gave him that painting because you're lovers. And he's like, Hoo, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, rah, rah. a solid desk. The wood has been polished with deep luster. Hey, Nick, I want to. I mean, she's 17. I keep forgetting Come that. on. I keep forgetting that. Stop forgetting. I want to put a fondue fountain on here. Oh yeah, God. that's what I was going to say. There's so... 
Edgeworth is right here, and you're not making <laughs> sexual comments about him? Well, no, it's funny to say stuff like that in the, in the voice. I guess, yeah. I guess you did that with Goombella, too, but at least Goombella was in college. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. she could be in college, which I mean, she, I bet I mean, she's still seventeen. I don't know. This is some kind of American Japanese hybrid area. Yeah. Let's not think. What did you do? Did the game crash? Uh, I didn't do nothing. No, the game <laughs> didn't crash. It's still down there. <laughs> Oops. The game was like, oh, for fuck's sake! I've never seen that happen before. I don't know. We just got jump scared by a box. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nick! I want a desk like that in our office too. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to set a desk like that yet. Also, I don't think it would fit. <laughs> uh huh? I love how she said that without opening her mouth. I meant for me! You better start saving your allowance then. If she gets an allowance... <laughs> how much do spirit mediums make? Not enough. <laughs> a table for clients. Hmm. An elegant... B bone case. So I'm not surprised that the lighter's made out of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. We should put things on our client table too. Like cigarettes! I'm not really into smoking. <laughs> <laughs> we could put out candy or a gun! No, no gum. <laughs> Classy. I don't know. What's you this get... plant's name? An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it probably is the most expensive one available. I think our Charlie is cuter. Right. He is cute. Plant. Yeah! Yeah! Expensive looking bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Well then, let's take them back to our office. You won't miss them. Uh, we don't need them. Then can we take that wooden bear? Is that a bear? <laughs> it is kind of cute. I thought it was an elephant. Give me. <laughs> Alright, I think we... Well, he's not here, so we gotta make time move. Time to go... Do you want to go back to detention? <laughs> I keep getting sad music in my ear. No, he's still here. Uh, the criminal justice system. But, uh, me, Maya said that uh, the photo might be ready, right? In the criminal justice system. So she makes offenses that I consider especially heinous. Yay, we get to see about that dialogue that Cameron skipped. Yay, guys! <laughs> hey, y'all! Lana! Wait up a second. We got bingo! Holy shit. I love competitive bingo. Yeah. I love it. I love it when I all those old ladies are like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was gonna say, like, when you go to the nursing home and you see, like, like, Brenda and, like, Cheryl get into a fight over which one got bingo first. <laughs> yeah, they're in a fist fight. Like, two, like, 90 year old women are in a got... fist fight over who got bingo first and who's gonna get, like, uh, an extra serving of pudding in their. <laughs> Yeah. I got 72 first, you jackass! <laughs> oh yeah, well I have a guy! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> du -du. <laughs> Bingo! My autopic camera took a two pictures that night, too. Hey! This is them, take a look! I swear, if we only get one of them and they're numbered again, I'm fucking pissed off. And he has a gun! Wait! Say, say, he's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yeah. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. No shit. Yeah. Well, there was no thug out there to last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, see, these photos reminded me of something. Wh what? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Of course! How did you forget? Never mind. <laughs> Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Uh. I reckon so. Yeah, it's a murder! <laughs> I reckon so. What's that? Don't you. <laughs> now don't y'all go trying to buy my accent. I'm a sensitive lady, I say as I'm mocking her accent right now. Hey, so I'm about to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. W wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Uh, tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I was a morning yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, which means the cops. I'd sooner eat the, the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Lotta. Can we at least see the other photograph? Don't let it get to you. 
What the fuck did I say? Skivvies. Don't let it get to you, Skivvies in a bunch, France. France today, enemies tomorrow. I can clearly tell that you have never heard of any country sayings in your life. I was raised by Northerners. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, that is my, very My cute. dad's from New Jersey. My mom's from New York. Not like the city part. It's from the shitty part. <laughs> or was it the other way around? No matter. I'm going. Hey, maybe I'll let them... Maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. Hi, bye, Lotta. She left. Oh. Couldn't be fast enough. Well, there's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we're gonna have to find out. Did Milo, is this a, to be continued? Oh, thank God. I was like, wait a minute. Edward didn't give us specific information to say, like... Didn't she say two photos? Yeah. She, probably the other one's gonna be brought up during the fucking trial. Great. This would be seen better days until all over. Uh, oh. Is Grosberg? Oh, the tree's growing quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadows, but the sunlight can't reach them. Oh yeah, is I mean we gotta make time go. Oh yeah, this camera. Excessive looking camera faces the light. Next to it is a large microphone with a blue plastic sheet. What's the blue plastic sheet? Looks like a computer is attached to the camera. Oh okay. Maya's not gonna just be like, hey, hey Nick, watch this! Who <laughs> just like scream in the mic? <laughs> oh, you're making time pass. We're doing oh, so good shit. at this. Looks like the police have given up their interview. <clears throat> Who's this? Hey! <laughs> oh, this is you. Ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you! A long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? <laughs> oh, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. I'll be ridiculous. Oh, it's Harry Butts, isn't it? <laughs> Dude, it's me. Uh, Larry? What are you doing here? I forget what accent I gave him. I try to remember, too. You're like, I'm guilty. I killed that woman. I did it. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Maya would love what one. Want a chili dog? <laughs> Everyone wants a chili dog. I don't think he can eat solid food. Well, we'll put it in the blender. Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so. <laughs> the chili dog, not the baby. <laughs> Gotta get my money for dates. You know, my girl Kionse deserves them. It's Beyonce, but Kia instead. She got that Kia in her. <laughs> Kionse? Not another model, I, uh, I hope. Oh, Keyonce is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend! You know? She bought this costume for me. That, that's, that's great, Larry. <laughs> wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not sure. She's 17, Larry. No, not my, what? No, 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 she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Fay. I'm a, a little sister. A sister? Wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. <laughs> no, I'm not Nick's little sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. You want Maya. a chili dog? <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> you want to present it a badge? Huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Want a chili dog? <laughs> Dude, you really helped me out back at that trial. So, sorry, I can't really pay you. No shit, because you blew it all on Keyonce. But you can have all the dogs you want. Really? She's got a 14th stomach for, for samurai dogs. Yeah, she's got too many chance. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. If, if you let her at your dogs, you won't have any custom any left for any customers. Hey, no problem. If that's what makes her happy you now. How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? Hey, you know what you think about this? What, what, what's this? A murder. You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. <laughs> it was taken last night. L last night? Yeah. Hey, Larry, do you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? 
Well. Okay. You know about the camera? What's that? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. H huh? Camera? Photograph? Larry, <laughs> you mean you don't know what a camera is? Oh. C of course I know. Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate. I was talking about the weird contraption on that camera. The, the dildo. <laughs> no, it's a microphone. Oh, that? Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, go show it to me at then. Jeez. Alright, what do we have to talk to Larry about? What is he doing here? <laughs> Hang on, I want to examine the area first. Examine our... Oh. Oh, well, we already did all that shit. Nothing new has been added or changed. Hey, Nick! Benches! Let's take a break. Maybe you have a dog? I think not. It's too cold to sit and eat hot dogs here. Wimpy city boy! Fuck you! You can try standing under a freezing waterfall sometime! But get it, you want a waterfall! I can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs know us! Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> Alright. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him. Alright. Samurai dog. No! <laughs> oh, oh, tell me about the dogs! Is this how you sound when you see a puppy on the side? You're like, tell me about the dog! Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs? Ouch! The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, Change the name and you go, girlfriend! She made me that banner. Aww. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Hmm. Something about that just seems... wrong. Oh, guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Oh yeah, we heard about Gordy. that. You wanna talk about Gordy? <laughs> um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy! Uh, a monster? Is that the one that shot the gun? <laughs> yeah! Actually, it was the, mon like, the Loch Ness monster that came out of the lake and shot <laughs> this random guy. <laughs> yeah, and... And fucking uh, Edgeworth was just uh, eating a samurai dog over over here, he's and, like, he, and wow. he got blamed. Yeah, he's like, "Wow, I can't believe I saw Gordy." Well, time to go back home. <laughs> yeah, check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Ooh. Wow, it's re really real. Giant life form appears in Gord Lake. It looks like a sock puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah. Probably is just a log or something, right? I mean, look at it. Hey, there's a quote here from the person that took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera on a bag, and when we get into the frame, I heard the loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry? Can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. Bitch! One million? Grow up, Larry. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you and finally gonna ask him what happened? <laughs> For, well, first things first. Clearly, they're giving me some foreshadowing with that one. Like a, what? A bang that happened in the middle of the lake. And the automatic camera took the picture, which makes me think that that's probably what happened in the middle of the night. Um, so, or all right, I have two possible theories here. Number, yeah, what's up? Number one, there was, you know, uh, something, something happened. It caused a bang, and conveniently, this dude just happened to be like shot at a like an earlier point and was in the water uh, and Miles Edgeworth was out there looking for Gordy and <laughs> and so he was he was like out there looking for for this Loch Ness monster and everything some random bang happened and uh, and this dude happened to get like t 
taken out, huh. and uh, and so like it all just like was a bad coincidence. Or what I'm thinking is uh, maybe this lawyer guy killed himself. Ooh, I'm, maybe. I'm thinking he might he might have uh, been the the one that killed himself. Maybe he was maybe he was out there with Miles Edgeworth and he tried to like try to, try to like frame him or something like that. Yeah. Uh, because you know some like rivals in a business could do like some crazy things like that. Yeah. Uh, my my conclusion, it, regardless, I think I think Edgeworth is innocent. You know, innocent but I, I think uh, I think either they're alluding to some bang that happened. I don't know what would have caused it in the middle of a lake, mm -hmm. uh, maybe like a firework or something. But um, or maybe one of those poppers. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, maybe that's what happened in the middle of the lake. And this dude just so happened to like conveniently die, like by a gunshot wound, mm -hmm. at, like sometime during the night, and so it all just like bad coincidence pointed towards Edgeworth, or I think this dude like took his own life and is trying to frame him. Mm -hmm. Those are my two theories. But anyways, hey Larry, there was a murder here last night, and since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Uh, oof. I think what you meant to... I think what you just said cut him off guard, Maya. No, no it's just... Keonse's not in town right now. She, she's in Hawaii on his photo shoot. Oh my god, a model, I knew it! <laughs> well, anyway, there was a murder here at the lake. The trail tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Oh, uh, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Wh whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? <laughs> we call him that because he edged in the back of the class. <laughs> <laughs> he edged for a whole hour! <laughs> yeah, we were in math class with the with the teacher with the fat ass and he was, he was, oh he was gooning forever. <laughs> Yeah, he's a murder suspect. <laughs> no, he was our goon commander. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, murder? Gooning, sure. In public, gooning, sure. But murder? I love you. <laughs> huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Edgeworth. 40. <laughs> So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Yep. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be... Be like father. <laughs> like his father? Is his father dead? Cause I can make him like his father. Oh my god. You're gonna kill Edgeworth? <laughs> yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow! Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? what? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Damn. Fucking Phoenix is silent. <laughs> like uh, how I should be. <laughs> I guess you want to present him the article back? <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm just a simpler vendor of samurai dogs, dig? Alright. Is there... Oh. Nothing! Alright. Is Edgeworth gonna talk to us now? God damn it, Edgeworth! I guess Chris for back? He is back! You did it. You, you, simple, you figured out how to move in the game. <laughs> Ah, that old familiar clearing at the throat. Aha, uh -huh, you're me as something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix, right? 
Aha! And you're, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! You got around with those! <laughs> you groan! You kind of look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth! Like that scent of fresh lemon, you see? Um, uh, Mr. Grosberg, sir? Hmm? Oh, yes. Uh, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? Alright. Can you just tell me how you got such big boobs? <laughs> ah, well, you see, uh, when you're uh, rich and famous like me, uh, you just you eat go, lobster! <laughs> you go get plastic surgery. You really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud of me I would be if she seen you now. She said she was more worried about me than anything. Ah, uh, just go on and take the compliment, will ya? Oh, uh, uh, my, my, my apologies. I'm not sure if I can help you with that. Do you want to present the... Uh, oh. So, this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Yep. Can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. Did we didn't even say anything. No, we didn't. <laughs> I'm not I'm sorry whether it got a bad thing. Not sure at all. I was about to say. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere. <laughs> Did you remember? Here was a lawyer. Lawyer here in my office. That's Hammock. Ro Robert Hammond. Did I say that right? You said Hammock at first. Oh. Mr. Hammond? Hammond, that's it. Now you say this man, is this the man Miles Edward shot? You like how his voice changes five times? <laughs> so this camera, the light took a photo, whatever, here's a an explosion sound? That's what she said. Ah, it just happens to be set up at the beach, pointing at the lake. Yes, she said it was to photograph shooting stars. Hmm, shooting stars? Explosions. What's the connection? I'd be suspicious of that witness of yours. Hmm. What if conveniently one of the shooting stars happened to cause a, ba a bang and uh, and that's the reason why it took a photo at, at, the, at that moment instead of the gun? Hmm. Alright, you ready to see what he has to talk about? Mr. Grossberg? Whatever happened to that painting? Ah, uh, yes. I didn't think it shall ever be coming back to home to this office. I can't exactly claim it is stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old bitter desserts. Well, he's arrested now. Can't you just go into his office and be like, I'm taking my fucking painting back, bitch. <laughs> We're no longer lovers. Well, I, I mean, I think that's still technically stealing, even if the guy's in prison. I guess. <laughs> there was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see. Even though he talked about it already? Yeah. We're, well, you're supposed to talk and then present. That's technically the order you're supposed to go in. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth, what? How did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hasn't heard anything. Alright. I know the victim! <laughs> Who's this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond! He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. It was the incident where the police were so lost that they used a spear medium. Wait, you don't mean... Is that a medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spear medium, Misty Faye, your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. Oh shit, now you're getting into the fucking meat and bones of this stupid fucking thing. <laughs> the DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. Very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Faye used her power to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to the charges being laid out against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You're the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grosberg? 
Er, uh, yes, yes, quite. Oh, he can't even fucking tell her that she, like, I fucking sold your mother out, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. No, please, don't, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim of the DL6 incident was other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Oh, that's... Wait. That's a photograph of my mother. Photograph DL6 incident exhibit A was written on the back. You hey, remember? There was one of the photos we picked up from the second case. Wait a second. Yeah, what's up? Why do I feel like... Why do I feel like... That, uh... Like, Miles gonna talk to us now? No, why do I feel like Edgeworth and the Faze might be related? Maybe. What, that is, that's his mother? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, he's back! He's What's so this? cute! I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. So fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, Edgeworth, I can't fuck off if you're not in the same room as me. <laughs> Edgeworth, what about your defense? They say the best defense is offense. I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. I know technically he's a prosecutor, that's his whole thing. But couldn't he represent himself? Yeah, because I mean, he is an attorney. Yeah. I know it's technically not the same. I mean, you can... I, I don't know this whole legal system in this game, but at least in ours, you can represent yourself without a lawyer. It's not really advised, because your lawyer is supposed to be, like, a smart guy, but you can. Why did you go to Gore Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Or apparently, would you tell Gumshoe? I was there to see Gordy. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Good, let him fucking me. <laughs> can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? Alright, fucking show the photo, maybe <laughs> get, That's it. get I'm, his ass. I'm getting near this case. What about this? What's that? I'm not in the mood for idle banter, right? <laughs> Are you sure he in the moment? <laughs> He's like, huh. That's me, holding a gun. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get this photo? <laughs> hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of... kind of point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> Kids close. <laughs> no, I didn't. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't think of anything I want to say about that. But this is the most concerned I've ever seen him. Yeah. He doesn't have a lot of facial expressions until maybe the third game he gets more? Oh. <laughs> He's, I can't really say I want to see any of them. I know he definitely has a lot more facial expressions when it comes to the Miles inter like the investigations, but... Oh shit. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yeah, you've made incredible progress in your investigation. Yeah, because I'm in love with you. I mean, what? <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm also in love with you, right? <gasps> Can we make out? <laughs> Karen wouldn't kiss me. <laughs> you were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About that DL6 incident? Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. He's copying Detective Gumshoe with the wiggle the eyebrows. Yeah. Right now. He's been hanging around him too much. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. To so protect you. <laughs> they, made, they just, like, kissed in the glass. Yeah. So, so, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Alright, first question. Will you go on a date with me? 
So, bro, come on, you're putting him through this again? <laughs> yep. Anyway, uh, would you go out with me? Uh, maybe, maybe after this trial we can grab a coffee? <laughs> Do you want to talk to this now? Sorry, oh. the, 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 Does he say the same thing? Okay. Do think the point of the... the, 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 the <laughs> Alright. DL6. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. Damn. And Hammond. Oh, and Hammond is the victim of the Gore Lakes oh. murder. Correct. Um, that's spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You, you mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. Damn. And it's Christmas! <laughs> December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. Yeah, we're all too familiar with that shit since we watched SVU. <laughs> they had a whole episode like that, where there was like three raids back to back, and they were all gonna run out in four days. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, what? <laughs> I was if you were lying. Yeah, sorry. Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. That is kind of silly, though. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. I thought murder investig- I thought murders, uh, didn't have a statute of limitations. At least in our society it doesn't, right? I don't know. I don't know. Nah. Uh. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? Oh. I'd rather not talk about it. He's got daddy issues. <laughs> what happened to the suspects? The one who got off in innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. 50? I guess I understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Hmm. Maybe there's a chance that that guy came out of hiding and he's the one trying to frame Edgeworth. Huh. Maybe like, maybe like he called uh, Edgeworth out there to like... Like, I don't know, settle things. Like, admit his guilt or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, inst and instead, like, uh, and, like, Edward being, you know, a good, good guy, trusting in people, he's like, he's like, alright, I'll, I'll go, I'll go, uh, I'll go do this, uh, and, you know, hear, hear him out. And then, uh, instead he just ends up getting framed. Yeah. That's my thoughts. But that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Right. Hmm? Pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you! Thanks, Maya. <laughs> yes, will you? Of course we will! Oh no, we will. I, got, I have to protect my little guy. Uh, who would have guessed this day would come? Not me. It's my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Yeah, for all the lunch money that you stole from me, you piece of- <laughs> Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you really don't n need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Oh! Yay! Well, I guess we should. What's happening? Earthquake! Yay! It's a big one! Wow! It's calming down. Oh, yeah. I think this place oh. is in California, so... Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> that was scary. Hmm? Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball of shivering. Maya, that's not nice! <laughs> I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime oh soon. Oh my god! 
Oh, it's Kevin. Uh, right. He had to give Edgeworth's letter request to Detective Gumshoe. Examine. Can I go examine? No, poor guy. He's just on the floor. <laughs> hey, he should be in the criminal affairs. I alerted the police department. That guy's playing. <laughs> He's scared. What's the shit going out of me. on here? What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What is this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edward a death sentence, pal? No, of course not. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. What am I, Miles Edward? <laughs> Her, uh, uh, her, uh, 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 eyebrows are, uh. <laughs> You're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Here, he... The blue badger. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds like Mr. Edwards is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file a tape of it. Oh, uh oh. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who could do it, pal. You're the only one who could save Mr. Edgeworth. Am I crazy, or could he just be like, oh, I gotta file the thing. Can I put your name down for, <laughs> for a public defender? <laughs> or do you have to be licensed to do a public defending? Or I don't know how this shit works. I don't know. I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. Damn. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. Damn. <laughs> I see that sounds like pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. So what did Miss Hart say? She said she saw a Miss, a Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. That fucking photograph doesn't... Bro! <laughs> yeah, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who was shooting who. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of might, but should let us see who's who. Huh, she can do that? She can do that? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. She's great. That's what I fucking needed. <laughs> in any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Yeah. Well, apparently, there was a cancellation. A cancellation? Who the fuck cancels it? Okay. Anyway, you wanna see me? Hey, pal, there's only one thing I wanna see from you. And that's a letter of request from Mr. Edgeworth for like, you defense attorney. I don't wanna see your goddamn defense badge. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show it to him anyways. Yeah. Look what I got! Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. <laughs> You're gonna fucking need it with this case. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! Aw, Gumshoe cares. <laughs> I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's gotta be- there's gotta be something here with- There's the, gotta be a connection! <laughs> with these earthquakes. Maybe, maybe, maybe the earth, the earthquake, he dropped his gun, it fired while it was hitting the ground during the earthquake, it just so happened to shoot this random guy, and then the random guy happened to be related in all this mess, and then he fell into the water, and he went, and then, yeah. No, I don't know, I, I don't know, there's just gotta be something with these earthquakes. I wonder. He has never acted that scared than before when he was in school. What is it? Then again, I thought I really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. 
How is this? We're, we're too big continued! <laughs> We're at 44 minutes. Do you want to edge the the court thing a little bit? Mmm. I think we can save want... that for the next one. Okay. You know what you haven't pointed out yet? Since Miles Edgeworth is in custody and is the is and is the defendant of this, who the fuck is gonna be prosecuting this case? That's a fair point. Oh my gosh, maybe it'll be Mr. Grossberg. Maybe no, Mr. Grossberg is a defense attorney. Is he? Yeah, that Mia worked underneath him. Oh, I guess so. And he knew he knew the victim. That he worked in the office. He's a he's a defense attorney. So prosecutors are usually assigned by, like, uh, they're usually from like the DA's office, right? Yeah, like ADAs. Yeah. So. <laughs> Watch uh, us get pain <laughs> from the first trial. <laughs> Be like, no prosecution is ready, you <laughs> And uh -huh. I have to do fucking. I have to go from that voice to Phoenix's voice to, hey y'all, like <laughs> like a country voice. I, th I think I think that dude's uh that dude's a little too stupid for for this case. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. Miles uh like sees him in court and he's like, ah, maybe maybe I do have a chance of getting out of here. Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, my my thoughts going forward. I still don't really have that much evidence. Yeah. Uh, I I think I think uh, it's gonna be a little bit clear the direction they're gonna go mm -hmm. uh, after this first day of trial. Well, I guess this is this the technically the first day of trial. Yeah, this is technically the first day of trial. Because so, after this, like after this trial, we our technically day two is like in that investigation. It goes like that. Yeah. So uh, we investigated a little bit. We've uncovered some things. Mm -hmm. We got a picture. We got a. We got a little bit of the details of um, Edgeworth's past, and uh, we know of some loud noise, mm -hmm. but it's alluding to the fact that it's a loud bang. That doesn't necessarily mean that it was a pistol, mm -hmm. but it, a interests, pistol. it interests me that that dude was definitely shot and was in the lake. Uh, that's like without a doubt evidence yeah. but they didn't give a time frame which makes me wonder uh if he could have been shot before any of this happened and this is all just like a big like framing situation mm -hmm. or it could be like a wild coincidence i'm gonna go with the fact that edgeworth is being framed that's my that's my idea as of right now don't have a lot of evidence to go for it i don't know how the dude ended up shot i don't know why edgeworth was on the lake the connection is obviously there. He has motive and whatnot, mm -hmm. but but obviously I don't see him doing it. So no worry, man. You'll get it eventually. Yeah. So that's that's my thoughts. But <sighs> I mean, you're not gonna have all the answers. It's literally the first day, and I feel like during like literally during the trial, you're gonna get evidence. <laughs> yeah. you're Like here's the gun. <laughs> yeah. But. Anyways, we'll get we'll get a little bit more evidence in the next one and I'll I'll, I'll give my thoughts in the next one. Yep. So, till next time everyone. Yep. Bye-bye.